Going on, try the hip hop podcast family. It's your boy Howie. Yes, we're doing another lyrical breakdown. Um, just like uh, Carter said, we're going to switch these up to Wednesday, um, and it's kind of giving me some time to really adjust. You know, getting used to it because we so busy doing it on Saturday. I mean, I damn near forgot <laughs> that we had one. But anyway, nevertheless, I'm coming through with this. Um, I want to shout out. Um, a particular YouTube channel that you that you need to that I advise you to check out, because um, <clears throat> this is where I'm pulling the song from today. Um, we got another rapper that is no longer here with us. Um, he he passed away years ago um, out of the Boston area. But anyway, I heard this particular song. Uh, on this YouTube channel, he's got a, this guy has a mix. Um, the name of the channel is Fat Tape, P-H-A-T, uh, T-A-P-E, also, obviously. So check out that. It's a, it's really good. He has, uh, I'm assuming it's a he, if it's, you know, if it's not, I'm sorry. Cause you know how crazy the world is. But anyway, um, he has, um, uh, Really good, uh, really great mixes. He what he does is he particularly has like mixes for that particular year. So like for instance, for like actually nineteen ninety, he has a mix for the stuff that came out in ninety. You know nineteen ninety. You know he got a mix that came out like for the summer. Um, he has particularly what I was listening to was the ninety two mix, and that's where I'm pulling from. You know the song that I was listening to and you know, some of the things, um, you know, um, even though I was fortunate enough to grow up on the East coast, uh, I was still in the South. So a lot of stuff didn't really at that time, especially the way things is now, it didn't make it down this way per se. And it might have, but I was, you know, in 92, I was nine at the time. Um, and, you know, if, you know, the music isn't, wasn't relatively available like it is now. Um, some of the stuff we lost, you know, but I think this guy, you know, particularly the, under the, under the name of Fat Tape, um, he does a good job bringing some of that stuff back. I mean, cause that's. And that's one thing I tell people, you know, he's like, oh, we got Spotify. We can listen to music. Yeah, but Spotify doesn't have everything. And that's just a fact. You can't get everything because there's so much stuff that's that's out here. There's so much stuff that's, un, you know, that's been recorded that you can't get. And then there's stuff that's unrecorded that, you know, that you really had to been there to be a part of. So, you know, um, and then I say unrecord, unrecorded kind of loosely because you know you got some people they still is able to do you know get a recording but it's still rare but anyway enough rambling i do apologize about that um this song that i'm pulling from from 1992 we're going to do um analysts analysts on this you know the breakdown uh it's from a guy that's no longer with us from the boston area um it's it's got to call scientific on the album the most blunted featuring Ed O.G. called I Used to Know You. So sit sit back. Pretty dope song. We're doing the first verse. Great sample on this. Uh, I'm going to come back with the lyrics. We'll be back. Now they gets to check it at the club 
instrumental remix, album version dub. Plus I'm living fat like Chubb. Rock. All you stupid suckers is blood clots. That's a diss term in Jamaican, but I don't really care about your drinks because I'm making stupid duckets. I'm large as zero. My name is not Robin, but I got the Nero. Now I would never front like if I did it on my own, but yo, to get I have to sweat, I have to work until the bone. And yo, I must submit it to some shit to get here, cause I've been kicking around for just about six years. Got no time to sing the blues because I paid my dues. Now I'm living like a star, put my car on cruise. Not the type to be conceited and forget my friends. If you was down from the beginning, then you're winning to the End. But if you try to play me lick nuts, don't try to glaze me, I ain't no donut. So to all the motherfuckers who was dissing me before, don't try to sweat me cause I'm going on a tour. I try to tell you if you diss that I will show you, so don't come and play that shit like I used to know you. I used to know you. Alright, we back. Get to see those ashy hands. Well, I broke down the lyrics. I tried to do this best I could because I couldn't find uh, the actual lyrics to the song, like uh, via uh, Ula or anything like that. So I just tried to listen to the song and try to break it down as best as I could. But again, this is scientific out of, out of Beantown, a uh, song called I Used to Know You. So let me go ahead and break this down. It's, it's a little lengthy, this first verse. But this is this back in the day, you know, you didn't know what you're getting. So there we go. Let me just put this right here. So he was saying, I've let me see here. There we go. I've been around back in the day, rolling with the JB, Money Man Mana and the P-R-O-P red alert. You see, I've been it with it for a while to get on my tip as I flip many styles in your face. So basically he's just rhyming doing his you know, bravada, you know, how long he's been, you know, hey, I'm, I'm a cert, you know, I'm certified, you know what I'm saying? I got my, you know what I'm saying? I got the miles here. I'm letting you know, you know, what I'm doing, been putting it down, you know? Um, so here we go. Flip many styles in your face. And that's just in case you try to doubt me or try to say some words because you haven't heard about me. Now I'm in control because I wrote with Ed O.G. and the Bulldogs. They from Roxbury. Reed. How really thick can a sucker's heads be? Now I'll get the laugh when at the touch of said we. So basically, you know, he's doing his bravado. He's showing you who he rolling with. Ed O.G. That's, you know, that's the dude that got, you know, got him on. And, you know, rolling with the Bulldogs, you know, representing that Bean Town, Roxbury, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's simple rhyming, but, you know, the beats, the beat slamming, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a chill beat. Um, it's it's simple rhyming, but it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's basically talking about, he's basically talking about himself, you know, what he did to get to get put on, you know what I'm saying? At, at that at that time in ninety two you know um well tech, well the song came out in ninety two. So but I'm pretty sure he probably owned a little before that, you know, cause back in those days they had to groom and perfect you know, perfect the artist, you know. Cause okay, so now we got the Dutch said we will never make a record because now they get to check it. Now they get to check it at the club, instrumental remix, album version dub. Plus, I'm living fact like Chubb Rock. I like that part right there. Because now they get to check it at the club. Instrumental, instrument the remix, album version, dub. Like, <laughs> like yeah, you got to go through all that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, kind of like, and it kind of reminds me, like, he's breaking down, like, yeah, the, you know, the single. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's kind of breaking down the single back in the day. Like, yeah, you got the, you know, the instrumental, the remix of the song, the album version, and then like the dub version, like, you know, for the, I guess the dub would be like for the radio. So that would be like your radio single. So, um, well, don't quote me on that one. Actually, somebody probably be like, man, blasphemous. That's not what that means. So yeah. Plus a little fat, like chub rock, you know what I'm saying? One of the MCs, you know, of that, of that era, you know what I'm saying? Um, really, you know, he Chubb Rock was actually, you know, the man in the eighties, but he, you know, he got on in the nineties, but he was also very prominent in the eighties too. So living fat like Chubb Rock, all you stupid suckers is blood clots. 
And that's a determined to making. I don't really care about your journeys because I'm making stupid ducats. I'm large. You're zero. My name's not Robert, but I got De Niro. I like that part right there. He's like, all you suck is this blood. Like, you know, living fat like Chub Rock. All you stupid suckers is blood clots. You know, like rock and clots. Then he goes to explain, you know, this term in Jamaican, but I don't really care about your germs because you make, because of making stupid ducats. I'm large. You're zero. My name's not Robert, but I get De Niro. Now, I wouldn't, I would never front like that. I did it on my own, but I had, you know, to get, I had to get sweat. I had to work to the bone. I'm sorry. I do apologize about that because that's a little fluctuation. And I was trying to listen hard to really see, hear what he was saying. I believe that's as close to what he got. And, yo, I must admit it took some shit to get here because I've been kicking around just about six years. Got no time to sing the blues because I paid my dues. Now I'm living like a star. Put my cars on crew. Not the type to be conceited and forget about my friends. But if you work down from the beginning, then you win until the end. So basically he's saying like, yeah, man, now that I came up and, you know, I'm doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, you know what I'm saying? If I'm not conceited, I ain't going to forget, you know, you down, you know, my ace boom coon day, you know, a one from day one. I got you. And, you know, we ride until the end. And said, but if, if you try to play me lick nuts, I'm trying to glaze you. I ain't no donut. So basically he's saying like, don't act like, oh yeah, you know, I was, you know, I was the, you know, I was the man, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, we used to hang, you used to be down like, nah, I said, don't play me like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to don't try to glaze me. You know, try to glaze, you know what I'm saying? Paint this pictures like, nah, I ain't we ain't no donut. This ain't Krispy Kreme. Well, up there it'd be Dunkin' Donuts. You know, back in those days, they didn't have Krispy Kreme. So so all the motherfuckers who was dissing me before, don't try to set me because I'm going on the tour. I try to tell you if I diss, I will show you. So don't come and play that shit like I used to know you. Ah oh, man. Just like I said, man, it's not you know, uh, you know, really super fantastic, but the beat slamming, the lyrics are, you know, pretty straightforward. He's explaining his life. And also he's talking about like, yeah, man, I got on. Now everybody's like, oh man, you know, you got on. Yo, that's my dude. I remember blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, 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 no. You can't be playing no used to know, like, oh, I used to know you. So you can get all these accolades. Nah, dead that. So that was the breakdown on that. I, it's really a good song. Um, again, I should, I would strongly encourage those who are hip hop heads to go check out, uh, fat tape. Um, you know, some of the mixes and stuff. I mean, I'm not trying to, I'm not getting paid. I'm not getting monetized for saying that. I'm, I'm just a person to believe if people are doing a good job, man, just like, dude, like if you get people to them and maybe that, maybe that will bless you. You know, when they be like, hey, my man, you know, did this. I'm going to send some people his his way. Not saying that he has to do that. I'm just saying, you know, some something might, you know, something might open up. And, you know, but I do this for the love, man. I have a passion for hip hop, man. I mean, you know, and that's something I, I enjoy, you know, as far as, you know, I'm too old to be a rapper and shit now. So, <laughs> so I just do, I like these type of, um, this type of rap where, you know, it's kind of hard to find these lyrics and it's kind of hard to, you know what I'm saying? To come by, like when we did, um, the live from an act Nicholas land, with, um, you know, three times dope, great group out of Philly, but yeah, man, from the bean town, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, scientific, the most blunted. I used to know you anyway. This is Howie from tried hip hop podcast. Tribe. I cannot talk. Triad Hip Hop Podcast. Please edit that shit, uh, Curtis. Triad Hip Hop Podcast. And we'll see you next time. And don't, you know, don't play that shit like I used to know you. Peace.